when I did live streams, you know, I would tell pe- you know, people knew I was a nerd. That, you know, it wasn't just World of Warcraft I liked. I liked lots of different pop culture. I love my sci-fi, you know, Doctor Who, Star Trek, Star Wars, you know, all this, all the stuff man boys love. And so we would discuss these on stream. And then one day, um, somebody said, Hey, as could you uh could you review Doctor Who? It's coming back in September. And they knew that I'd stopped watching the Whitaker series because it's like, this is shit. I'm like, oh, could you? Come on. Could you please? They're like, the first episode wasn't bad. The new start, it's Spyfall, I think it was, for the new series, first episode. Wasn't that bad. So I, so I watched it, and I reviewed it. And then people liked that, and they said, could you just do the whole series? So I was like, oh. Because oh. I did say I'm not going to do any more. I was like, okay, okay. You got to give your fans what they want, you know. You got to. So I was like, okay, they invest their time, do it. So I, I reviewed the series, and it was garbage. <laughs> like it just fell off a cliff, like <laughs> as, as, as the biggest cliff. Like from the first episode, it just went hey, <laughs> like that. Oh, no. It was just yeah, it's just complete suicide. And um, because I was a Doctor Who fan anyway. Uh, I I was watching channels like Nerd Erotic and I was watching channels like uh, Bowels Track uh, because I liked their their Doctor Who takes because um, you know the show was shit so it was it was nice to kind of <laughs> see someone else you know listen to someone who who was articulate that was like no this is this is shit it's not you this is real shit stuff and um, uh, Bowels Track and I followed each other on on Twitter. He followed me on Twitter. I followed him, or I was following, either, you know, either either. And uh, he would he like message sent me a message one day, and he, a private message, just like, "Hey, dude, I just want to say that I watch your videos and I really like your videos and you know you Doctor Who stuff." So I was like, "Oh, thanks, man. I, I actually watch your stuff, you know." Aww, um, so I was like, yeah. "Yeah, it's just like it's just like oh, you know, it's just nice." Nice when you kind of get that, um, because you know it would have been awful. Be awful. I really like your stuff, and you're like, ah, oh, who, are you? who are you? Who are you? Yeah, are you again. And um, he just he just uh, start. He he said that ah, oh, he does a podcast where he talks about Doctor Who. So I was like, okay, yeah, that sounds that sounds like fun. So time went on, and we got to the final episode of of the Doctor Who series, and it was just. It was the worst thing I'd ever seen in my life. Destroyed the whole franchise. Pulled down 55 years at the time, I think, of history. Absolutely spat on the legacy of the Doctors. Uh, Typical BBC um, intersectional garbage. uh, Hypocritical as well, because the stuff that the women were doing were horrific, but they were like heralding them as heroes. This woman's murdering kids over and over again to discover the secret of regeneration. And they're, they're talking Was about... Was her name Hillary? Yes, Clinton. <laughs> and uh, and they were heralding her. It's like, oh, she's just amazing scientist, amazing scientist. <laughs> amazing. She's, like, she's just murdering kids. <laughs> so Bowstrek uh, on Twitter, I saw him just like tweet out saying, going, going live on podcast to talk about Doctor Who. Now, I thought he meant on his podcast. So I messaged him and I said, dude, put me in the team, coach. I'm ready. Because I was like spitting feathers about this episode. But he was actually going on to Nerdrotic's channel to discuss it. Wow. Uh, which I didn't know. And then it, I think he sent a message back saying, oh, I'm, I'm on I'm on uh, a different guy's channel. I was like, oh, you know, so I'm like, don't worry, don't worry about it then. And then um, a little bit later, I got a, oh, come and join, come and join, dude. So, so I I clicked on and I and I joined, and there was Gary uh, from Nerdrotic, there was Bowels Trek, uh, there was a, a last called Starry Eyed Girl, who's lovely, and then there was myself, and I was on my bestest behavior because <laughs> I didn't know these, you know, I didn't know them to talk to them. This is the first time actually talking to them, even though I've watched the videos, and we just discussed the the Doctor Who episode and and we all got on and Gary was just like, hey, do you want to come back uh, on Friday on my channel? Do I do this sh- podcast called Friday Night Tights? Uh, you know, would you come along as the guest? I was like, yeah, I'll come along as the guest. Uh, so I was like, I felt really kind of like um, excited about that, you know? And uh, yeah, I went on to Friday Night Tights. Um, I, I had a good time. 
Uh, Jeremy was just like, oh, I like this guy. And it's the first time, it's the first time I dealt with Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers as well. But I was aware of Geeks and Gamers because I watched Geeks and Gamers stuff. So uh, there was, you know, Odin I didn't know and, and Comics Division I didn't know at the time. But, um, you know, obviously got to know them through that. And I think another week went past and then a week later, Gary got in contact again. It's like, hey, do you want to come back to Friday Night Tights this week again as the guest? And I was like, I'll come back again. Wow. And um, then they just invited me back every week. Uh, and, and then it got to a point where they just said, well, it looks like you can have like a regular now, doesn't it, really? Uh, <laughs> you know, do you want to stay on? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, so that so from, from that sort of uh, meeting with Gary and stuff, uh, I sort of kind of entered the, the pop culture war there uh, in terms of, oh, this is great. These are people who are talking about franchises I love and uh, they're kind of saying the things, you know, not sound so echo chamber, but they're saying the things, the problems which I think the shows are having. Um, and it's interesting to, to find these people because if you go out to the to the press, oh, it's, it's wonderful. This mm. is the greatest show it's, it's an ever improvement. been. Yes. Finally, Doctor Who has got six labias, you know, and all that <laughs> sort of stuff. <laughs> 